this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership with a three string cigar box guitar. And we are today doing uh, Harry Chapin's uh, Cats in the Cradle for Father's Day. I'm going to be playing clean, clean through my uh, vintage 47 brand uh, spectator amp here. Um, that's what I sound like clean. Um, I'm going to run through the intro and a lyric and then a chorus and then we'll break it all down. Um, the original key is in F. Um, I've seen it online done in A, but Uncle Mark is going to do it in D and I'm going to teach you how to do it in D. So uh, if you don't like that key, well then you need another website, but uh, I'm teaching you in D. So I think this intro, this iconic intro that you have to have um, is perfect in this key. So it's also good for my voice. So, uh, here we go. Cats in the Cradle. My child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way. But there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away. And he was talking for I knew. You know I'm gonna be like you And the cats in the cradle and the silver spoon Little boy blue and the man on the moon When you're coming home that I don't know when But we'll get together then You know we'll have a good time then Right. So before we mess with the uh, intro, how about we just learn the chord shapes and uh, we'll get these little transitions first because that's probably where you want to go. So I play the song in D, so let's familiarize yourself with uh, the fretboard. Um, in this G tuning, G, D, G, this D chord, this D note is going to be very important in this song, so remember where it is. It's that, it's that middle note. So um, this open is G, G sharp, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, and D. Okay? So there's your D. And I tend to either play with my first finger or my pinky, and I use a uh, helper finger. Because my pinky's not as strong as you think, so I kind of use a helper. So it looks like I'm just grabbing the whole guitar, and in, in this case, I actually am. So there I am at D. Um, the next chord you need is F, and the F chord is an inversion of F. Certainly, that works. But I like the shape down here, and this is a C note, this is a C note, and this is an F. And that's how I play this chord. So I'm here, and to get to this shape, I slide this finger down, put my pinky down and my first finger down. So I just kind of slide this way. This is how I go from D to F, and this is how you should as well. D, F. See that move? Very easy, very complete. Okay? You also have uh, C in this song. And you also have G in this song. But you're going to go F to G, so it's just a motion, a whole tone up, or a two frets up. Okay? So you just keep in the same shape. And I just take my pinky and kind of put it up there. Notice the movements I make are very, very simple. As we get older, our wrists cannot handle giant movements. So I want you to practice these shapes and go back and forth with them a lot because you're going to use them a lot in rock music as well as uh, acoustic stuff, right? There's also a, a little game I play here where I go, right, with my pinky. So I'm here. So this is how I do this. Right? And then I take this finger and put it there. So you can see it like so. First finger. 
So basically, these, this downward progression, or I'm walking a ladder flat, going flat or going down. I'm going down the ladder. I think of it as a ladder. I'm going. So I'm with the chord shape, though. So I have this little dyad going on at the same time. A dyad is two notes. So I've got this little dyad going on at the same time. So chord, and then note and dyad, and then A and dyad. So let's go through this at somewhat of a decent speed. And uh, we're gonna start on D. So my child arrived F the other day. He came into the world in the usual way. But there were planes to catch F, bills to pay. C, he learned to walk while I was away. He was, watch this, talking for I knew it, and as he grew, said, I'm gonna be like you, you know I'm gonna be like you. So in this case, I actually took my first finger, and you know, and now that I think about it, I think that's the best way to go. So you're here, with your pinky, then here, then here, then here. That's a great way to do it. I think that's even better than what I was explaining the first time. So you're playing it like a chord, but it's really just a note and a dyad here together. So it's note, dyad, it's chord. Note, dyad, chord. Note, dyad, chord. So if you have trouble stretching, just envision your hands right here like so, and uh, make them stay there. Practice going and holding your fingers down. Hold them down. And if you have trouble at this area, move up where the frets are closer, but hold your fingers down, and then come down until you can't do it and practice in that spot. That's how I do it, and then you know you end up down here with a... Right, and you have your, all your fingers held down. Okay, so this song has an iconic intro to it. We're going to be playing it as a dyad. So it's these two notes, the D and the G. Okay? So you're going to play that D note drone every time. So it's going to sound like this. You're going to be picking it just like that. 14th fret, so it's right beneath that dot. What you're doing, it kind of sounds like a Copperhead Road, right? So you're here, so 14 twice, okay? Then you're on 16, 14, 12, 11, 12, 11. that this note does this bass string here this G does not exist and just strum within this little spot with just these uh, two notes here. But uh, I think you guys and gals are up for it. This is a killer song for Father's Day. I'm gonna post this absolutely as soon as I can so that you guys can have it. So I'm gonna go through this one more time as an entire song and just sing the chords out. D, 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 F, 
C, 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 D. And here's our ladder. C, 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 F, F, D. F, F, D. And the cat's in the cradle and the silver spoon. C, F, little boy, blue G. And the man on the moon, D. When you're coming home, C, I don't Gotta shift all the way up with your finger. And that's it. So uh, it's a solid intermediate song. It is solidly in the intermediate realm. If you are a beginner and you're just trying this out and you're having trouble with it, remember that it, it's one of these songs that takes a long time to really grasp. Um, it's worth all the effort, okay? So if you can't get it by this Father's Day, don't worry. You'll get it by next year, I'm sure. Um, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Um, I do have a, um, a, virtual, uh, a virtual tip jar down below in the show notes. It's a paypal.me forward slash under uh, Uncle Mark's tips. And uh, thank you for your donations, um, large and small. Thank you for everything you do for me. I thank you so much. And uh, subscribing, sharing on social media, checking out my live videos and stuff like that. Um, I'm really having fun with the band. And uh, so I thank you so much for everything you do for me. And uh, we'll see you next time. Mark, Uncle Mark in the Mothership.